This is Steve. Steve is just like you. He has the power to change the world for better or for worse. Today, Steve is going to work. He takes his car to his workplace. But wait, when he left his house, Steve forgot to turn off all the electrical appliances. But by doing this, he has carelessly wasted precious fossil fuels as they are burned for electrical energy. Also, by taking the car, Steve has released greenhouse gases like carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. By doing so, he has contributed to global carbon emissions, known as the carbon footprint. Now, Steve is going to cut down a forest to make way for land. By doing this, he has destroyed nature's only way of removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. At the end of the day, Steve has unknowingly contributed to global warming. As global temperatures rise, climate change occurs. But this is not the end. Steve has a chance to fix all of this, much like how we can change our habits for a better future. Today, Steve has decided to take the public transport instead of driving a car. Public transport releases 70% less greenhouse gases than cars. Before leaving his house, Steve has made sure that he had turned off all the electrical appliances. By doing so, he can save electricity and lesser fossil fuels are burned for energy. Steve has decided to participate in reforestation activities. With more trees, more carbon dioxide in the air can be absorbed. Whenever he can, Steve will reuse or recycle plastic bags and metal cans. Plastic and metal cans need thousands of years to decompose. By reusing or recycling them, demand can be reduced and thus, lesser plastic and metals need to be manufactured. Even though Steve's efforts are small, every small effort can go a long way. If we do not stop climate change, then it's all over. Our cities will lay as flooded ruins. Our farmland will be destroyed and humanity would have failed to protect our only home, Earth. This is Steve. Steve is just like you. He has the power to change the world for better or for worse. Today, he has chosen to protect his home. What about you?